lens. Let's start this lesson with a question. This is a neutralized cotton and it has a volume of 12 cubic deciliter and this is a neutralized milk container and the volume is 1 liter. So how many 1 liter milk containers do you think this milk carton will be able to fit? To explain this, we have to understand the relation between volume and capacity. Here, the relation is 1 cubic deciliter is equal to 1 liter. Therefore, 12 cubic deciliter is equal to 12 liter. To demonstrate this, we will look at a simple illustration. This is the neutralite carton and we will try to fit the milk containers here. Let's see how many milk containers this carton is supposed to fit. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 and 12. So this milk carton is able to fit 12 milk containers. Therefore, our conclusion is verified where 12 cubic deciliter is equal to 12 liter. Welcome to this lesson. Today we will learn about relating volume to capacity. This is a topic under measurement in class 6. In this lesson, you will be able to find the volume of a rectangular prism and you will also be able to relate volume to capacity. Let's look at one example of relating volume to capacity. How many liter of juice does this container hold? Length of the juice is 5 cm, the width is 4 cm and the height is 8 cm. Using the volume formula, we have length times width times height. Putting in the values, we have 5 times 4 times 8 which gives us 160 cubic centimeter. To relate this to the capacity, we will use the table guide. Here the volume is 160 cubic centimeter, so we will look at the cubic centimeter row which says 1 cubic centimeter is equal to 1 milliliter. Therefore, the capacity of the juice is 160 milliliter. Let us verify this uh, conclusion through an example uh, illustration. So this is the jumpy juice and this is an empty beaker that has a capacity of 200 milliliter. Let's pour the juice of the jumpy container into the beaker. As you can see, the jumpy juice fills up exactly 160 milliliter of the beaker. Therefore, our conclusion is that. Let us look at another example. How much water does this aquarium hold? The dimensions are length is 3 meter is 1 meter and height is 2 meter. Let's take note of the dimensions and as we already know the volume formula is length times width times height. So putting in the values we have 3 times 1 times 2 and we get 6 cubic meter. Let's use our guide to relate volume to capacity. This time the volume is 6 cubic meter therefore we will look at the third row which relates cubic meter to milliliter. So 1 cubic meter is equal to 1 kilometer. Therefore, the capacity of this aquarium is 6 milliliter. Now let us look at relating capacity to volume. So if this still box is 20 liter, what is the volume? Again, let us look at the capacity uh, volume guide. So this time we are relating capacity to volume. So we will look at the liter row. So as you can see, 1 cubic decimeter is equal to 1 liter, which also means 1 liter is equal to 1 cubic decimeter. Therefore, 20 liter is equal to 20 cubic decimeter. Try this yourself. This boy is carrying a jerry can. How much water will this jerry can hold? The dimensions given are length is 20 centimeter, width is 10 centimeter and Height is 25 cm. The guide is given as well. Pause this video and try it yourself. So as you know, the length is 20 cm, width is 10 cm, and height is 25 cm. The volume formula is length times width times height. Putting in the values, we have 20 times 10 times 25, and multiplying them, we get 5000 cubic centimeter. 
On this guide, we can see one cubic centimeter is equal to one milliliter. Therefore, our capacity is 5000 milliliter or it can also be written as 5 liter. In this lesson of relating volume to capacity, you have learned how to find the volume of a rectangular prism and also how to relate volume to capacity. Thank you for watching.